up guys evergreen fly guy uh, kind of a different video for you today uh, I'm gonna go update you on some stuff and then we're gonna go over the giveaway that I'm gonna start today kind of early but uh, let's dump right into stuff um, first off my kayak it has a lot of stuff on it but <laughs> right now but um, I have made the decision to sell the kayak because I'm not taking it out nearly as much as I want and it's taking up a lot of space in my garage I could use for other things and we're trying to get it the garage all cleaned back up and stuff and probably moving across the country at the uh, the end of this year or beginning of next year or something like that and it's just it's a lot of space and uh, I could use put the money into other things right now so it's sad but you know probably gonna be going but it's only been out maybe four times and you know we did our build series on it and that was fun and I also have a trolling motor over there that I never took out of the box to go with it so yeah if you're in the Pacific Northwest area and you're looking for a kite here you go <laughs> we'll make a deal uh, it's pretty clean there is some sand there I gotta get out but other than that it's pretty clean Nothing awful has happened to it other than the ocean thing. But, uh, you know, what do you do? Uh, and for fishing videos and videos in general, I'm probably going to be slowing down to like one, two per week. Um, this coming up quarter, well, it's already started and I've got a taste of how busy I'm going to be with this next quarter of my classes. And I'm going to be pretty busy. So. I'd like to just be able to still continue to get out on the weekends a couple days and get some videos done and you know catch some fish but I don't know if it's gonna happen my wife also just started a new job and her schedule's real busy so finding time between that and my son and all that it's been pretty difficult and uh, yeah that's why it's been fly videos lately and I don't like posting fly videos like one after another after another and that's what it was this week and I don't enjoy it and you don't guys don't enjoy it but uh yeah, so thanks for bearing with me. Um, I'm going to go over the giveaway in just a second. I got to grab a few more things for it because I just realized I forgot some stuff. So hold on. Okay, guys, let's talk giveaway. So I enjoy doing these, and I think you guys enjoy doing these. Uh, let me tell you about what we're going to do this time. We're going to do, obviously, subscribe to the channel. That's one, one little raffle point in there. On the Instagram, that'll be two. And, uh, yeah, I like to keep them simple. Like, I don't like it to make it complicated or anything like that. Um, I'm going to do a bonus like I did last time, and you'll see that. But let's let's get into right now what you could potentially win. Okay, so we'll move these for now. This is on my frog tug box on my dirty, I need to clean it up, fly table. But... So starting from the top, this is all Guggen baits. Now I have no problem with Guggen. I really don't. I just don't fish it. I don't. I mean, I don't know. It's just a preference thing, I guess. I don't. I just I got a bunch of it to try out, and I tried it out, and I didn't use it. Actually, none of these baits right here have been fished. Like I, I wouldn't put any baits that have hit the water in here. They are out of the packaging because they probably were, well, I know some of these were in my box, but they've never touched water. So, uh, top corner, three frogs, <laughs> same color, it's the mid uh, nightclub, yeah, the nightclub, black, hollow body frog. Uh, I don't fish frogs at all, so, yeah, I know, a lot of people are like, what, that's crazy, but I don't fish frogs. Uh, I don't, just don't care for it. I like poppers, I like popper frogs, I don't care for it. Um, jigs there's lots of jigs in here uh most of them have trailers on them already you can choose to keep that or go or <laughs> eat them like i said none of these have touched the water uh cowboy craw cowboy craw uh this is the football head uh casting head i think the or the thick one just like that right there that one's still in the package just like the uh, other frog there's still in the package um i've got the rotten pumpkin i've got bluegill uh that's the juice I think um, that's the thick on the black and blue got casting on the or the flipping head on the black and blue football head on the black and blue got the swim head on the black and blue swim head on the bluegill peanut butter and jelly with the football head 
Um, continuing on, I actually only, I thought I had more of these, but I only have one of their lipless cranks uh, for square, square bills. I just have this small one. I think the color is Ghost Scale. It's the smaller size square bill. Um, medium divers, I got three different choices. I got this one. I think it's like a purple gill color, or that one might be the Ghost Gill. I'm not sure. It's a nice pretty color, like luminescent style color. I like it, like I said, but none of the, again, none of these have been fished, so. Um, like this thing is Sexy Shad color, uh, Fire Craw, or Crawfish, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and that, that's for that. Um, spinner baits. I got, um, got three different spinner baits here of all the Guggen thing. They're all the same size. Um, can't really see the size right now. It should be on the top of their head somewhere. Three eighths, three eighths. So they're all three eighths size, and I have that in a pearl and white, as you can see right there. I have the sexy shed pattern. It's like a blue. Get that up. So you can see, it's like a blue and yellow, white. And then this was I was I really wanted to try this out. I never got the chance to. This is the bluegill on the spinner bait, and I put a, one of their uh, trailers on it, and I really wanted to try it. Just, Never got around to it. Um, top water wise, I uh, only have this popper. Again, never fish the popper. It's a popper though. I think it's called the Hound or something. Hound Junior, something like that. It's a good popper. I mean, I mean, it's hard not to make good poppers. And the final piece for the hard body baits here is the Contender. This is the smaller size in the bluegill. I think it's like four and a half inches or so, so maybe it's a little bigger. I don't know. They make a seven inch one and they make this one, and this is the smaller one. But uh, I just thought it would be better, especially for a bluegill themed one. And yeah. Um, as as far as soft baits go, I got some of their uh, rattling chunks. Hear the rattle in them. I think one of these has been used, and it's on one of the craws in here. Um, I got the Kick and Craw and the Pure Passion. These are the junior ones. Uh, they're like the purple one. And again, I think, yeah, one of them is right here on this peanut butter and jelly. Uh, some more Crack and Craws in the bigger size and the Watermelon Red Flake. And I don't think any of them is taken out of that one. And then the Rattle and Chunks again in this uh, Summer Craw. And I don't think any of those have been used. Um, I also have a pack of darts, which I just realized I left upstairs and I'll put those on there too and that's it for like the standard giveaway it's just gonna be all these baits like this is a this is a good amount of baits this will set you up in in bass fishing like if you're new to bass fishing and you just got all this this would uh, and the soft plastics I saw, I saw all you needed really honestly like you could you could go for a while with just all this stuff you have all sorts of stuff you got jigs frogs lipless cranks, square bills, medium divers, swim baits, spinner baits, top waters, soft plastics. Now, I am at 280 subscribers at the moment. Or around in there. Could be one off, could be could be one more. And uh I wanted to wait till to start this giveaway at 300, but like I said, I just didn't think I'd have the time, so I just took this time while I had it to set this up and just go ahead and start it let people get a time to enter uh, I'm gonna give two weeks on it two weeks to get in instead of one week last time like last time since I'm starting it early so two weeks uh, and it'll be two weeks from today when I post this video so today's Saturday so not next Saturday but the following Saturday and I'll put a date in the description for you guys and uh, yeah there's no target goal for this stuff just for the regular Google stuff just whoever wins wins uh, best of luck to you now like I said, I'm at 280. If I hit, I will say, say 350, 350 subscribers, and I will add something else onto there. And that is this right here. This is the Guggen series. There, so the Guggen's Guggen rods gold series. Go to. If it'll focus up. But it's the go to casting rod. It is for. Basically, it, it can handle just about anything, but it's for like jigs and stuff like that. Brand new. Used it once. One time. I liked it. Never used it again. Just because I have my things that I like, and it's kind of hard to change my opinions. 
Still a very good rod, has a lot of great features. And honestly, if I had more time, I'd probably use the crap out of it. It's a great rod, it really is. Let me put it down so you guys can take a little bit longer look at it. I really like the design. They really, uh, so it's a seven, medium, heavy, fast. They really put it out there for angler's hands and stuff. They really thought about that. The design is very nice. You got the Guggen, the Ketchco. Got the another one on the back. And then I like how they put in this right here. The It gives you like a rating. And it's rated pretty high for everything except for like finesse stuff. And most bass fishers know if you're running finesse stuff, you should, uh, you should be running it on a spinning reel. Most finesse stuff. And that is the go-to. Um... That rod, I believe, if you're not a Carl's Club member, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on this. I think it runs about 200 bucks. I think I was about able to get it for about 100 um, because of my military discount and my uh, Car Carl's Club discount. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to go this at the same time so I could tell you guys right. Okay, so co correction. It's about 150 without any of that. So I was about, I got about 50 bucks off of it. And it looked really good, and it, it is a really good rod, it really is. I just haven't used it. So, that being said, 350 subs for the rod. That's the only target goal for, for all of this, all of this tackle right here, all of this. Just like, subscribe, uh, and then, you know, comment your name so I know you're, uh, so I know you're in. Just uh, comment your name after you subscribed on the comments. <laughs> Uh, way I did it last time is uh, the last winner I pinned his comment in there and I responded to it with like you know you won so uh, I, I know I still had people like questioning that but if you're if you're confused about it after the deadline just go check the comments on the video and you will know but uh yeah that is uh that's it guys that's all I got uh, apologize for the slow in videos if you guys are really committed and watching. I know there's a few of you out there that actually like watch my videos every time they come out. And I appreciate that. But uh, that's all I got. So, um, you know, hit the giveaway. Share it with your friends. Uh, if you want to show me somehow that you've shared it, I guess. I guess I could give you another point for that. I'm not sure how you do that through YouTube. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> you out there catch the fish, guys.